Hello boys and girls, it's Olli here once again. Now that a new version of Postshard has just been released, I thought it would be a good time to take a look how its cleaning tools work and how we can remove floating artifacts from the Gaussian splatting models directly inside the Postshard. Although these options have been available already on previous versions, there has been some development in them, and I think it's needed to place a short tutorial on this topic and show how these cleaning tools work in practice. Perhaps I can share some useful tips on how to remove floaters quickly and efficiently from your model. So let's start with this church model of mine. As we can see, the inside of this church contains a lot of visible floaters and smudge areas. This doorway in particular seems completely overgrown with wake and unnecessary splats. In the toolbar on the left we can find two tools related to selecting splats. The first is the selection circle. It is practically a brush tool with which we can paint and select splats. Selected splats are painted and indicated in blue. But this tool is quite powerful. When we paint an area with it, we have to remember that it does it as a whole through the entire model. So I didn't just select points from this doorway, but the entire selection area extends far outside the church. And we noticed that it has selected all the points that came across that painted area. So this tool is mostly convenient to cut large areas and remove a lot of splats at once. Combined with inverse selection, this tool makes it easy to remove surrounding areas. If there is a need to subtract and unselect splats from already selected areas, we can hold down the shift key and then paint on those areas we want to remove from the selection. There is also a shortcut key for the brush size. If we hold down the control key and then roll our mouse wheel up or down, we can see that this function makes our selection circle larger or smaller. But then let's see that other tool, which is same kind of a circle selection tool, but with a depth limit. When we activate this tool, we can see these perspective lines on our viewport. These lines represent a depth field, how far from the viewing angle we can select the splats. And now when we are moving our mouse over the screen, we can get only few blue splat indicated out from that depth. This selection depth can be increased or decreased. If we press and hold both shift and control keys down and then roll our mouse wheel up or down. This way these perspective lines goes further or closer to you and you are able to paint splats much more on that selection depth. It takes a little bit time to get used to it and find correct depth but this makes it safer and is a delicate way to select floaters. And you don't have to worry about selecting all the background splats and accidentally making holes in the parts you want to keep. While these selection tools are activated, there is a way to move inside the Gaussian model without constantly changing between viewing tools. As we might guess, Bowshot also logically has the typical WASD keys to move inside your view. So like in any 3D game, you can move left or right, forward and backward with these keys. And combine this to depth selecting tool, you have very effective way to fly inside your model and gather floating artifacts by painting them same time into your selection. By pressing the Q key, it will rise you up, and likewise pressing the C key, it will take you down. One thing that needs to be noticed when deleting the selected splats is that although it would be logical to press delete key from the keyboard, 
it doesn't work, that principle, in here. You see, when we select splats from our model, we can notice that a separate selection object appears in the hierarchy list here on the right. And now, if we press delete key on the keyboard, it only removes that object from the list. The blue selection area disappears, but the splat themselves remain in place. So the delete key does not delete point as we might think. The correct way to remove splats is to press the separate delete selected splats button on the left. After that, the splats really disappears. In a way, it is a kind of a protection mechanism that the splats should not be removed by accident. But Ctrl C, the undo function works also here, as in other programs, so you don't have to worry about it. And of course, it is wise to save the model and keep the original as a separate file if you ever need to go back to the starting point. Using these techniques, I was able to clean up and punch a hole in this doorway, so now the model works better for that. I hope that by going through these two handy cleaning tools, you now have better understanding of how Gaussian splatting models can be edited in PostChart. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Thanks for watching.